Hey there, we are Nigel and Sue. When the global pandemic put a halt to our overseas travel plans, we bought this 4x4 Sprinter van and converted it into our tiny home on wheels. Since the beginning of 2021, we've been travelling Australia and these are our adventures. Subscribe to our channel for more as we get outside into nature, hiking, mountain biking and kite surfing, getting off the beaten track and enjoying all this amazing country has to offer. Good morning friends. The day has come that we need to leave the Palm Cove area and start heading south. I'm a bit sad because this is my favourite place in the world and I always love it here. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how Nigel's feeling. He's probably... <laughs> <laughs> but it's exciting to be on the road and to be seeing some new places. So we are excited about that. And ironically, or maybe not so, coincidentally, Palm Cove has turned on a pretty miserable day for us. It's not actually raining, but it is really grey and not too happy today. So far we haven't been super successful at seeing a cassowary. We did see one in the distance near Cape Tribulation. So we came to Eddy Bay today. So this is the tiny little town of Eddy Bay. There's really just a caravan park over there. But it's really well known because cassowaries come through the caravan park. They just wander through and the car park. So we thought we would come down here and we managed to see a cassowary on the way in which was super exciting because we've been here for maybe half an hour an hour and no sign of cassowaries here at the actual little village but we were so excited to get to see one. Oh my god you guys we just saw a cassowary <laughs> we have to go down and see if we can see it did you see it yeah I did yeah So the cassowary is just down in that little bushy section there. Problem being, A, there's a house just there. So it's private property. And B, I don't want to get attacked by the cassowary. So we're not going to go down. But we did see one. It was, it was like a myth, mythical creature. <laughs> but it was similar distance to the last one we saw. So I reckon, Nige, Third time lucky. Yeah. I reckon the next cassowary we see, we're going to see a lot closer. So cool. There he is, look. Yeah, the first cassowary. The first cassowary. Well, it's not. Oh. It's like... Well, you know. Three. Look at him. He's look at him. Beautiful bird. Look at that thing hanging <laughs> under his chin. <laughs> Wobbling away, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. The mythical bird. This is definitely not the sort of weather you like when you're camping or even just hanging out in a solar powered vehicle. This is where we've been staying at Curramine Beach. As you can tell, it's really windy. The weather has not been all that pleasant. Um, the ocean is very brown. Yesterday, at about midday, a massive storm came in um, and we haven't had any sun to charge up the solar panels so we had to go for a drive yesterday but we got to see some of the local flooding. Um, we're going to keep going further south today. We've really enjoyed this beach camp and we've just kind of spent a bit of time editing videos. Nigel's had a bit of work to do. But now it's time to hit the road. We are in the town of Tully and this town is known for being the wettest town in Australia. So they get more rainfall here than anywhere else in Australia. And it's not raining now, but as you know, we've had a lot of rain in the last few days. So it's also famous for this structure, the Golden Gumboot. 
Last time we came here, it was all under scaffolding, but now it's been refurbished. So we're gonna take a walk up to the top and have a look. We're at the top of the boot in Tully, and this is how much rainfall well, they receive. We are at the top of the boot. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me try one more time. Nigel! <laughs> we are at the top of the boot in Tully. <laughs> We're at the top of the boot in Tully, the wettest town in Australia. This is 7.9 metres high and this is how much rain they received here in the year of 1950. Pretty cool views from the top of the boot too. We just found this poor little bird. He's too small to fly. So we're gonna to have to take him to the vet where they can look after him. So we're doing a little bit of animal rescue here. Uh, almost stood on this poor little fella. And uh, so now we're gonna take him to the vet and um, let them make the decision on his fate. Poor little guy. Look at him. So we've dropped off Huey. <laughs> Chewy. Yeah. With Hannah and the vet. Yeah, we've, we've caught him They're going to take care of him. Today we're heading out to Wallaman Falls, which is the longest single drop falls in Australia. I think it's 263 metres. Hopefully we'll have good weather. Apparently when it's quite cloudy, sometimes the falls are in the mist. So we'll wait and see when we get there. It's kind of partly cloudy today. Our fingers are crossed we're gonna have a good day for it. So we're driving now through all of this sugarcane farming country and heading for the mountains. Today we're at the Wallaman Falls. We've just had lunch in the car park. We're actually at the top of the waterfall. So there's a lookout here. So this is Australia's highest single drop waterfall, something like 268 meters. And it's super amazing. Let's go for a wander. So it's a four kilometer round trip to the bottom of the falls. It's 269 meters down and 269 up. <laughs> Let's do this it. This should be fun. <laughs> the sign says, warning, be prepared for a difficult walk. The path has been really quite steep and rocky. I've been using my poles and I can tell that we're getting quite close, not only because I can see the waterfall through the bushes up here and the trees, but because I can hear the thumping boom as the water hits the rock walls in the wind. Oh look, I've caught up to Nigel. Whoa. Yeah, so we'll get, get Sue's reaction here if she rounds the corner. <laughs> what do you reckon? Whoa. Let's have a look at she's looking at. 269 metre fall. Just beautiful. 
We are at the bottom of Wallaman Falls. It's absolutely incredible. Look at this. This. <laughs> like, you can't even get the whole thing in. And there's so much water spray coming off it. It's probably all over the lens of the camera now. But we were just sitting out on one of these rocks over here, just watching it for like, I don't know, 10 <laughs> minutes or something. So beautiful. I don't know if you can see there's rainbows and all sorts. Just amazing. Well worth the walk down. It took us about 40 minutes to get down and I'm guessing it's going to take about an hour to get back up. Today we are at Little Crystal Creek, which is a beautiful waterfall and an old historic bridge that's uh, just above the waterfall. We've just been, there's a large group of young boys that are here jumping off the rocks yeah, into the pool below. Three to go, see you more. I'm not sure if he's going to go from there, but it's a long way to jump. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> so we're near the top of the waterfall now, and Nigel is surveying the jump. He's thinking about doing it. <laughs> We're at Big Crystal Creek. We've had lunch and we've done the walk up to the creek um, and the rock slides. But we're just looking at these rock slides. There doesn't appear to be a hell of a lot of water in there. I don't know that there's enough water to push me down that rock. I'm just going to take one for the team. I'm just, just doing a bit of quarrying because someone's put a whole bunch of rocks right at the bottom of the slide, which is not ideal. We decided to walk a little bit further up the creek where we found an even better rock slide and also made friends with someone who had a drone. As usual, I make Nigel go first. But once I'd done it once, you just couldn't keep me out of there. It was so much fun. Well, that was a lot of fun at Little Crystal Creek and Big Crystal Creek. Which one did you prefer, Nigel? Oh, they were, they were both uh, fun. For um, diff different reasons, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried to concentrate on this road. Yeah, they're both both fun. Oh, yeah. Get a, go to both would be the um, uh, the thing to do. Yeah, for sure. Well, I only went in the water at Big Crystal Creek, so I think I have to say I preferred that. 
and now we are off to the frosty mango for ice cream Ooh, ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream and that ice cream was so good Thanks so much for joining us on this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. We had a really fabulous time in far north Queensland. Don't forget to drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.